I like that, how that sounds. Music to your Pratt Pack's ears. Time to take the A train to La Trobe. Taste the Good Life, October 27th. Details with Joey DeSalvo in a moment. But I want to talk about Arnold Palmer. I did a lot of stuff paying tribute to the King. And I understand he celebrated a very special birthday in Joey D's Cigar Bar. Tell me about Absolutely. That. Well, I have to tell you, it seemed like yesterday. It was last year. His wife, uh, again, had come several times in the summer. And she said, I want to do something special for Arnold. And uh, we'd like to host something very special in your gourmet dining car prima classe, which means first class. And then proceed down into the cigar bar and relax. And, you know, it was just a wonderful, wonderful honor that uh, he would come to the Salvo station and relax with his closest, closest family and friends. And we just had an enjoyable 86th birthday and who'd ever think that a year later that he would be uh, high above us and not with us anymore. Well, we love you, Arnold, and to your family, Godspeed, and just know your legacy will be here long after all of us for many generations to come. You put Latrobe and your hometown on the map, and that's why everybody's trying to find that map, and they will continue to come back to Latrobe to experience who you were, and that truly is a legend, not just as a golfer, but as a human being. Okay, let's talk about Taste of Good Life, October 27th. Largest biannual charity event of its kind, fall of our 24th year. All I can say with the great support of KDK, 93.7 The Fan, just an exciting day to coming together with the best of food, the best of wine, the best of camaraderie, all giving back to a wonderful cause. The Aerobic Center at Lynchfield in downtown Greensburg. We're so excited uh, to showcase all the true great things and honors and gifts in the world to give back to a great cause such as the Aerobic Center. As we rotate the charity throughout the year, many different causes are excited to be. Fine wine and spirits, your favorite beer, of course, brewed right here in La Trobe. I see the light, ladies and gentlemen, and also fine wine from those great, wonderful fine wine and spirit stores that are literally scattered throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Talk wine and what you're doing in Market Square and where we are right now. I think if you love wine, you have come to the right country. It's never been more popular. Absolutely. Wine, you drink it in good times, you drink it in bad times and there's an art to making it, and there's an art to drinking it, but more so just enjoying it and with great friends. It's like an hourglass of liberty to relax, to eat, to drink some great wine. I mean, it's just a, it's a way of life. And uh, I'm blessed uh, uh, with our Good Life Wine and Spirits Importing Company that I'm the president of, that we bring wines from all over the world to the Chairman Select Program of the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. And in addition to that, we have a special license separate of that where we, it's called a limited winery license, that I have the first and only license of its kind with a winery called Cola Frisio out of the Abruzzo region of Italy where my family happens to be from in Frisa, which is near the Adriatic coast where the temperature, the climate, just like Napa Valley is phenomenal for wine production, that we have our own, the only limited winery license of this winery in the state of Pennsylvania, and our first pilot store was Pittsburgh, PA, because of the great demand and the great culture that we have. It's in Market Square. The, the winery, the Cola Frisa Winery Wine Bar, is in Market Square at the Market Street Grocery, and we're showcasing, it's almost two years old, some of the greatest portfolio of wines from the Cola Frisa Winery. The uh, owners, Antonio Petrocello and Amadea De Luca, have produced some wines that are great price value from $15 to $40, that are great portfolio of reds, great portfolio of white wines, two brutes, we can't call them champagnes, but two brutes, sparkly wines that are out of this world, down in the heart of Pittsburgh and Market Square. So we are both huge fans of the fine wine and spirit stores and the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. Absolutely. I love the window shop. I was, as I mentioned when we got together earlier in the week to promote the Taste of Good Life, I was in a wonderful fine wine and spirit store in the Quaker Village shopping plaza, and I only picked up a few bottles of wine, but I wanted to just walk around in the whiskeys and the bourbons, and now how that's even becoming something that is being produced locally as well. Absolutely. It's an exciting time, and it's nice to know that those people are running the shop, because I don't think anybody does it better. That's right. Well, the, you mentioned spirits as well. Um, Pennsylvania to stimulate being an agricultural state, also producing wines, have created these opportunities where 
small winemakers in Pennsylvania could sell their wine outside of the state store system and give a chance for Pennsylvanians to enjoy their own products indigenous to Pennsylvania, grape production and winemaking. So the Chairman Select program though is wonderful as you stated. We get a chance as Pennsylvania consumers to 